Okay, so how the innovation works is that it has a camera that is solar powered. It is mounted in a farm permanently facing the crops Then it will continuously capture images of the crops on the farm. And then in the event of a pest or a disease, the farmer will receive an SMS on the mobile phone and this SMS will have the pest or disease and the pesticide that they should apply in the exact quantities. Um, our cameras are very precise, they are very accurate. The accuracy is actually 97.5% and um, it, they are able to detect any pest or disease and distinguish between uh, diseases, nutrient deficiencies and the pests themselves, then recommend depending on what um, infestation uh, is on the crop. So as per accuracy, we are at 97.5%. Um, that's a good question. We are actually very happy as Farmer Lifeline and the team to have won this award. It means a lot to us and it has encouraged us with our efforts. And uh, we're looking to scale um, our presence, first of all, to five other counties so they can also have the innovation um, there where there's farming. Um, we're also looking to invest in research and development for this version 3 that we've already begun the patenting process so that we can protect our intellectual property. And um, yeah, we're really looking to, to scale that innovation to more farmers who would benefit from it. And even beyond Kenya, uh, we want to see what this program will have for us to even pilot in other countries beyond Africa. So we came up with this idea after realizing the harmful e effects that plastic has in the environment. And me being an environmental engineer I, and having studied in, uh, for two years in the Netherlands in, uh, in my masters, I went into research and found out that actually we could, find, we could uh, recycle plastic waste and turn it into a roofing product. So when I came back to Kenya, uh, that was in 2016, that's when I, st I, I made my first prototype and I sent it out to industry leaders in the construction industry, got a lot of feedback and people were really excited about it. So that's when I decided to really jump on this idea and I started a company and today, uh, almost about seven or eight years later, we have sold about 650,000 roofing tiles and recycled almost 600,000 kilos of plastic waste from the environment. Uh, I think African leaders should start embracing innovations so that we can have a lot of local innovations coming from uh, local entrepreneurs and this will actually help instead of importing a lot of stuff from abroad and actually um, promoting the foreign currency if we had <coughs> if we had more support more local innovation more manufacturing locally then it means the local economy benefits more jobs are created locally here we don't need to export jobs to china and that kind of a thing we're really looking to grow the network even further. We, in particular, would like to support more female entrepreneurs and I hope that they're inspired by tonight's winner through Esther's, Esther's win. And yeah, we just want to continu continue to grow the network and continue to uh, support the entrepreneurs in delivering impact. Uh, we, we always say as our tagline that one innovator can um, support a community, but a network can transform a continent and we really believe in that. The 10th winner of the Royal Academy of Engineering Africa Prize for Engineering Innovation, oh. taking home 50,000 pounds, is the third woman to win the prize, Essa Kimani. Whoa. finalists with uh, something so kindly come forward let's appreciate the other three finalists as well they're all going to get a medal and ambassador is going to queue <laughs> well done well done as well Ori as well congratulations and Kevin you have done as well and proud wow thank you
Eco Block Centers is trying to seek into something that I want to change them to electric because they are now sleeping in on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Thank you. 